okay, God, thank you for taking me to the airport one more time. <laughs> and then just one little aside is, you know, talking about taking Rodney's picture. What was exciting for us is we got home and this other group, the last group of Ellensburg people going down to Child Hope International agreed to take some supplies for us. And we got to send, what do you think, 200 pictures. We made copies of our pictures and put them in envelopes and sent them down. So by this time, they should all have pictures of the, of the time that we spent with them. With the D, with the B, with the B. 
<laughs> my second mom on this trip. She has such a beautiful spirit, calm, cool, and collected. Without her skills, we would still be at a loss for the troubles. She seemed to be able to turn everything fun and make everyone laugh. Mary, I love getting to know her. She always made me double over laughing. So witty and fabulous. I never heard her complain. She had such a heart for the women she worked with and never gave up trying to learn Creole. She is such a strong woman with a heart of gold. Mom, which is Leanne. If you didn't know, it was so much fun getting to watch her work and grow. Never have I felt closer to her. She not only was so invested in her women she worked with, but genuinely allowed her heart to be given up to them. If she could, I think she would have taken everyone we met home with us. Next stop, Africa. Ha ha, right mom? <laughs> Just one thing, I have never been so blessed learned so much and felt so included in a group. If you didn't read the blog, I mentioned that these women will change the world. They will. Watch out. Beyond that, they are living, breathing gospel. They each have amazing gifts that they so openly use to show Christ's love and compassion. Proverbs 31 paints a beautiful picture of these ladies. A good woman is hard to find and worth far more than diamonds. Her husband trusts her without reserve and never has reason to regret it. Never spiteful, she treats him generously all her life long. She shops around for the best yarns and cottons and enjoys knitting and sewing. She likes a trading ship that sails to faraway places and brings back exotic surprises. She's up before dawn preparing breakfast for her family and organizing her day. She looks over a field and buys it. Then with money she puts aside, plants a garden. First thing in the morning she dresses for work, rolls up her sleeves, eager to get started. She senses the worth of her work, is in no hurry to call it quits for the day. She's skilled in the crafts of home and hearth, diligent in homemaking. She's quick to assist anyone in need, reaches out to help the poor. She doesn't worry about her family when it snows, their winter clothes are all mended and ready to wear. She makes her own clothing and dresses in colorful linens and silks. Her husband is greatly respected when he deliberates <coughs> with the city fathers. She designs gowns and sells them, brings the sweaters she knits to the dress shops. Her clothes are well made and elegant, and she always faces tomorrow with a smile. When she speaks, she has something <coughs> worthwhile to say, and she always says it kindly. She keeps an eye on everyone in her household and keeps them all busy and productive. Her children respect and bless her. Her husband joins in with words of praise. Many women have done wonderful things, but you've outclassed them all. Charm can mislead and beauty soon fades. The woman to be admired and praised is the woman who lives in the fear of God. Give her everything she deserves. Festoon her life with praises. Now, on a lighter note, what happens in Haiti stays in Haiti. Not necessarily with these ladies. <laughs> now on with the bloopers. Oops, sorry. Alaska. 